This video provides an introduction and demonstration of the interactive application, The Effects of Climate Change on the Treeline of Denali National Park and Preserve. The effects of climate change are evident throughout the world. In Alaska's Denali National Park and Preserve, temperatures have increased 2 to 4 degrees Celsius in the past several decades, resulting in significant impacts on spatial patterns of terrestrial vegetation. Our client, Rachel Isaacs, a Penn State PhD candidate, has performed fieldwork to better understand how climate change affects Denali's treeline. The main objective of this application is to introduce this climatic and environmental topic to a general audience that includes people of all ages and educational backgrounds. In order to meet our client's requirements, we present the user with past, present, and projected Alaska temperature maps and allow for easy comparison between time periods. We then explore tools and geography concepts that were instrumental in this research. Finally, we portray the results of Isaac's fieldwork by comparing mid-1950s and mid-2000s gridded land cover maps for three field sites in Denali. We relate this topic as a story and promote interactive exploration to achieve the main objective. Before we developed this application, we examined relevant literature. Picard and Fisset stressed the importance of taking into account the temporal dimension when using a map to tell a story. We incorporate this advice by presenting information to the user in a logical order that flows from the start to the end of the research process. We utilize snapshots in time, as discussed by Andrianko et al., to relate Alaska's past, present, and future temperature, as well as Denali's past, present treeline, further stressing the temporal dimension of this story. Additionally, we use brushing, discussed by Andrianko and Andrianko, to create pop-up windows that allow users to identify and in interact with sites of interest. Finally, we follow Nielsen's usability heuristics to provide users with control and freedom to interact with items they find interesting in an efficient manner, avoiding long progressions of mouse clicks for navigating. We now provide a demonstration of the Denali application. There are two main parts to the application, a narrow pane on the left and a large one on the right. The left-hand pane presents the user with the means of choosing which part of the research process to investigate. These parts flow naturally in time from top to bottom, with the presentation of the problem, climate change, at the top, the fieldwork process in the middle, and the results at the bottom. The right-hand pane displays more in-depth information on each topic. The climate change segment conveys general information on climate change and allows the user to choose time periods for comparison. These snapshots in time compare past to present climate, as well as present and potential future climates. The slider at the top of the display enables the user to visually compare these climates and identify spatial patterns in change. The research segment presently provides background information on critical domains in the research process, biogeography, remote sensing, and GIS. Future work on this application will implement buttons in the left-hand pane which, upon being selected, will create a pop-up with more in-depth information in the right-hand pane. The final story segment relates the results of Isaac's research, conveyed in general through the text in the left-hand pane. The large interactive map allows the user to zoom in and out of Denali's landscape. The user can click any of three symbols to examine each of the field sites. Upon clicking, the display changes and the left-hand pane conveys site-specific information related to the images seen in the right-hand pane. Users can utilize the slider at the top of the display to progress through the research results. The first position relates a snapshot in time comparing aerial and satellite imagery of the field site 50 years apart. The second shows the land classification of these time periods. The final position indicates the type of land cover change and provides aerial imagery for comparison. Notice the Back to Map button at the bottom of each of these pages. This allows the user to quickly return to the main map without the need of revisiting previously viewed pages. Additional future work consists of the inclusion of complete results for the other two field sites, as well as delineating Denali's borders on the climate change maps. We would like to thank Rachel Isaacs and Ryan Mullins for their constant support throughout the development of this application.